do is your local election headquarters as Walt Maddox tonight is calling Governor Ivy's health back into question after media reports this week alleging that she had a series of many strokes during a 2015 trip to Colorado. The governor has denied that reporting. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman is in Tuscaloosa where Democratic candidate Walt Maddox is calling for her medical records to be released. As we told you at five, gubernatorial candidate Walt Maddox held a press conference today in regards to the allegations made against Governor Kay Ivey in a recent media report. Walt Maddox has seven questions that he's demanding Governor Kay Ivey respond to. Walt Maddox's seven questions for Governor Ivey range in content from asking whether Governor Ivey informed then Governor Bentley that she suffered from multiple mini strokes to whether or not Governor Ivey has in any way tried to hide the facts surrounding that medical incident. Maddox told members of the media today that this whole dispute can be settled if the governor opts to be transparent. She can easily disprove all of this. She has the texts, the emails, the communications, the medical records. That's all at the governor's disposal. This afternoon, she could end this whole debate, and we could hopefully move on to talking about other issues facing Alabama. Governor Ivey's campaign responded with this statement saying, quote, the governor and her doctor have repeatedly disputed these lies and provided detailed accounts to back it up. As it relates to the officer, that's another Maddox whopper. News outlets reported last year that the officer actually received a promotion and raise in late 2015. It's important to point out that while Governor Kay Ivey did respond to Walt Maddox's press conference from earlier today, she did not respond to any of the seven questions that Walt Maddox demanded that she answer. But if she does come back with answers to that, we will report that to you as promptly as possible. In Tuscaloosa, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. And as we get closer to Election Day, we're continuing to keep you updated with the candidates and voter registration deadlines, which are looming. You can go to our website for those details right now or the CBS 42 News app.